Where would you like me to take you, Agent Kreller? I'm headed for the parking lot. I hope you're not leaving us, sir. Keep your mind and campgrounds clean, or else get a rake in your ear. Ranger Cruller. This must be Agent Vodello's car. Just as well, she would have killed me. I wonder if the coach has a little jetpack or something to help him get in and out of this thing. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. That's in case you were thinking about getting back up again, tree. They must have fireproofed this thing. Man, why don't they trust us kids? The last thing I'd want to do is leave this place. Too much important stuff going on. Goodbye, cruel camp. I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and all the mean kids at camp. If I just had one friend here who was nice, then I would stay. But you're all mean and no one stands up for me, so I'm going home. I'll be in the parking lot waiting for my dad. So if you want to pick on me one last time, you'd better hurry. Maloof. Hey, Maloof. Um, you want some help getting that off your head? If I take it off, Bobby might just put something worse on it, like a dirtier pair of underpants or an animal with teeth. I'm just going to wait here until camp's over and my pop comes back to pick me up. Come on, things can't be that bad. So you've got a jock strap on your... Fish tied to head. Very clever. Bear investigates, gets wrestled. We'll wait in case Bear wins. If any bear shows up, Feel free to cut right in. Anyway, it is that bad. First, Bobby and Benny locked me in the girls' shower. Then they wouldn't let me out of the toilet. Now they won't let me in any of the toilets. And in between, there was a lot of punching. No. Then we locked you in the GPC. Maloof forfeits place in bear wrestling line. As repayment for courtesy, bullying now forbidden. All bullies acknowledge, please. Get bent, Kami. I'm gonna take your... Call next move, Deadly Nelson. When screaming starts, eyeball may pop out of bully head. Standing back suggested. Okay! I won't touch him! Jeez! Better give Maloof's brain to Mikhail ASAP so we can protect it. Welcome back to the thinking world, Mikhail. So, as you can imagine, we are in some bad trouble. Sounds like it's time something bad happened to our fine coach. Well, let me tell you what our plan is. Please, you have your plan, I have mine. But say no more. That's a good question. But I didn't taste it, so I don't really know the answer for sure. Well, if Brain Tank come after Mikhail, it will be sorry. Better go find Tiny Boss, see what is planned. Now wire the other end to the gas tank. Oh, hello Rasputin. What are you guys doing? Taking care of business. The fewer questions you ask, the better. Hey, wanna help me save the world? We are. 
This is how we handle things in my family. Yo! Shall I come out and hurt people? No, keep working. Well, I don't think that would have solved anything anyway. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelope. Seems like a nice turtle. You shouldn't get him involved in this mess, Raz. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. 500 years ago, enormous titanium-bearing meteorite strikes the Earth, leaving a giant crater. 200 years ago, native inhabitants begin making arrowheads out of the titanium, which they call by the name Whispering Rock. This is a rough English translation. 100 years ago, prospectors and settlers take over the area, naming their boomtown Shaky Claim. 99 years ago, First case of paranormal hysteria diagnosed in shaky claim. 75 years ago, Houston Thorny builds his home for the demented to deal with the insanity epidemic. 60 years ago, more residents in asylum than in the town, Houston Thorny commits suicide by leaping from tower. 55 years ago, asylum closes. Last Valley residents paid to leave by the federal government who flood the crater to prevent further habitation, Lake Oblongata is created. Five years ago, Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp founded to nurture and train future psychonauts. Last summer, I got to first base with Elka Doom, signed Nils Lutfisk. <laughs>